Welcome back. Well, the markets continue to hold mildly in the green, but there are plenty of stocks that are moving around. First up, Delta Corp. That's in focus as it gets another GST payment notice worth around 6,300 crore rupees. Manglam, well, the pain continues for them, right? The bad news is just not stopping. The bad news is just not stopping and neither is uh, the way the stock has uh, declined what? as well. You know, Nigel, if you just take a look at it, remember in June itself, the stock was trading close to around 250, 260 odd. In the last three and a half months or roughly 100 days itself, the stock is down almost 50 odd percent. So from the highs, it's uh, nearly halved, a little less than half as well. The high was 260 odd. Uh, now the stock is trading at around 126 odd rupees. If you just take a look at the timeline of events, the first one, of course, happened in uh, July 2023, where the GST Council did say that casino, horse racing, online gaming will be taxed now at a uniform rate of 28%, with the tax being made on the face value of chips. So that was uh, the first uh, reason why the stock continued its downtick. And thereafter, there was the tax notice that came in the previous month of close to around 17,000 odd crores. So GST notices for the company and its subsidiaries between 2017 and 2022 were close to 17,000 crores. At that point, was a lot higher than the market cap of the company as well. The company was just about grappling with that. And now, over the uh, weekend, we got a notice coming in from the Kolkata GST office worth around 6,400 odd crores. So in just the last 20 days or so, you've got tax notices worth nearly 24,000 coming in on Delta Corp. What's not helping is that the second quarter numbers weren't also particularly good. The revenue was largely flat, so was the EBITDA. Margins at 37%. It was a seasonally off quarter, but in that as well, there was no particular growth that the company had reported. And to add to further volatility, in all of September series and most of October series so far, the stock has been in FNO ban. At best, for a day or two, it would come out of FNO band only to go back into FNO band. So that has uh, created a bit of a trading mismatch as well. And that explains the sort of downtick that we've seen on the stock over not just today, but the last three months or so. 50% <coughs> lower in the last 100 trading sessions, Nigel. All right, Manglam, thanks a lot for that. The other one